Alright. It's about that time again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Otaku. Chris is talking. This is your weekly manga review for Nanatsu no Taizai chapter 228. Now, before I go into this, I just want to say this. This was a lot more hype than I thought it was going to be. And I would also like to apologize for last week, for lack of last week's videos on my channel. Basically, um, I was focusing so much on my new video, which I posted on Monday. I will leave a link somewhere in the cards up around here somewhere. So definitely do check it out. It's about the use of censorship in anime. If you are interested in that, then do check it out. I, I personally think it's a pretty good video and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So after this video or during this video or whenever you want to, just please check it out um, because spend a lot of time on that shit but yes basically that's why i wasn't doing videos this week but i'll be making these videos every monday so hopefully you guys will subscribe for that good stuff especially if you're just on this channel for the no taizai i will be doing that um, or a discussion type video every single monday so leave your thoughts and theories down below and on my anime amino and anything i want to talk about will be on monday so sorry about that plug basically i want to kind of just try and get this new style of videos out here so if you're new to my channel, I do make regular otaku content, so uh, anime uh, discussions on Mondays, and throughout the week I do um, manga and anime uh, reviews as well. So if there's something that you're interested in, then feel free to check that out. But this review is about chapter 228 of Seven Deadly Sins, or Nanetto no Taizai, and can we just say, are we going to just look past Eskinor versus Diane? Eskinor versus Diane. Eskinor versus fucking Diane. I was on the train coming back from work, which is why this video is so late, especially in the UK. And um, I was literally thinking to myself, what the hell? Eskinor straight up banged her in the, in, just in, in the abdomen and was like, look, I didn't aim for your face out of pure consideration. And I was like, holy shit, this is going kind of peak. Now, obviously, um, because I, I never made a review for last week, brief review. Uh, the sins end up taking out the skeletons that that should have been on Dark Souls, and basically, some of the sins managed to take them out. And it was kind of obvious we knew this was going to happen. They even mentioned it in the last chapter. Was kind of like, uh, what do you kind of think is going to happen? I like, don't underestimate the sins. They are OP. So I thought it was really cool that we ended up having to kind of just that got sorted out in one chapter because I think I would have been slightly pissed off if it took quite a lot of chapters just to deal with Melilla's um, kind of the, his pent up energy and rage just spread out across all these skeletons i know he's meant to be op but we're meant to have op people in the sins right now especially as we have my man Eskinor praise the sun and once again i just want to bring up Eskinor versus diane who else was hype for this and what was even more hype is is diane tanked it and then she gave one back to him but what was even more hype is in the next panel Eskinor is standing there next to diane like nothing happened how op is Eskinor? because i mean we know he's strong but he can take it back and it looks like nothing happened it looks like he's unfazed oh my goodness so now that was one oh, sorry about that noise fucking for another world uploaded a video i know hopefully one day guys <laughs> but yeah so literally like i thought that was hella awesome so for me that was one of my favorite parts of this chapter um what else is that well we get king trying to basically just talk to Diane, talk Najit to her, get her out of the situation. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. We knew this was going to happen because obviously King and Diane have their relationship now, which is out in the open. Um, what I want to try and talk about more is what I thought was pretty cool. So what I did like a lot was how, like, tense this chapter was how even though it was diane and i did feel at first oh there's diane being brainwashed again yeah it was actually pretty hype it was actually pretty cool to see diane kind of with her limiters off and where would she stand if she was had her limiters off and what was crazy as well is that the sins really looked at her like yo like we need to go against her but like merlin even said we need we, we need to go at her like if we want to kill her everyone's like like if we're gonna kill her like bands like like if we're gonna kill her we have to go straight up going to kill her we'll figure it out afterwards which i thought was pretty cool but then helbum comes in comes in and saves the day for 30 seconds or so and um it turns out that all these souls that were basically uh taking over diane's mind were the souls of the dead uh, soldiers of of conrad um, in, in the city of conrad and all these soldiers were actually killed by helbum when he was uh with the ten commandments and when he was with hendrix and all of that in season one if you remember that good shit but yeah basically 
Helbrun was the one who took those out. So in a way, even though he was being manipulated and all that, it was his fault. So that is why they're so just willing to kill. So I kind of like that Helbrun was willing to sacrifice himself. And I also like the fact that Nakaba was able to bring back Helbrun and use him not as a plot device, but as a reason um, for this like an ex-mechina for, for this part here in a way which worked so i liked that but i also liked the fact that even though he was used it wasn't like the end all be all like just the, the final ex-mechina no we still had like they were even like is this supposed to make us feel better and i was like holy shit galfa tries to uh, release and save diane not diane elizabeth not even did. Oh my goodness, it is Diane. Galva tries to save Elizabeth from her mind. Uh, doesn't really work enough, but then Diane, boom, she comes in and we see a new attack, which was called the Gold Winds Imperial Wrath. Now, I wouldn't, I would have thought it was like Elizabeth's move, but it was Ban who seemed shocked the most. He was like, I recognize this attack, this ability. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to guess that's, that's uh, what's her name? Elaine's move, which I think is pretty cool. And we also get Let There Be Light, which I, I'm going to guess that was um, Diane. No, oh my goodness, so many females in this. Elizabeth's move. So yeah, so this was actually pretty kind of cool. Great action. The art was really, really cool. Um, it seemed kind of faded every now and then. Was that same for, for you guys or was it just me? Was it faded? I don't know. Uh, but the plot was nice as well, especially as we get Elizabeth back. Finally, we're not going to have Elizabeth stuck in a coma for the whole time and her being a damsel in distress. And I feel like that's something that Nakaba has been trying to do is show that the females in this series are fucking OP from bloody Merlin who's just the badass is a badass and even though it's Meliodas is the leader Merlin should technically be the real leader Diane showed that she can hold her, hold her own toe to toe against the strongest of the seven deadly sins and she can take the blows without dying and we also have Elizabeth who's who's shown that she is able to handle her own. She doesn't need to be saved like all the time, like if she's some um Orihime. Is it Orihime from Bleach? Oh my god, I can't stand her. But yeah, so that's about that. Um overall I really enjoyed this chapter. I'm really glad that the plot is progressing, and I do apologize for my late review and also for the lack of review last week. But hopefully you guys forgive me, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review, and also feel free to check out that discussion video about anime and censorship. Hopefully you guys will return subscribe all that good stuff thumbs up i will see you guys soon otaku chris is talking wait how do i do this peace